Okay. Oh. Interesting. All right, let's go. Hmm? Hello, I'm Howard Smith, and I guess it all started when I set up my online dating profile. I was new to the online dating scene, really new to the dating scene in general. Anyway, I was filling out my bio, and I was struggling a bit. But then I got to the question, what's your favorite book? And it hit me. I have never read a book. My whole life. Never read a single book. To fix the situation, I read the first book that I picked up, which was Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. And my world changed. It was like this whole world of possibilities opened up right in front of my eyes. I was, I felt like I was awakened. And I just thought, you know, if Dr. Frankenstein can bring dead bodies back to life, then I also can bring dead bodies back to life. Oh, it's all car parts. Okay. Does anyone want any water or anything? I have milk, but if you guys want something else, I just have to run out to the store. Hello, Parsons County Medical Examiner's Office. Yes, hello. I was calling to inquire about any corpses that you might be getting rid of. Excuse me? For scientific reasons. No. No, of course not. Well, I don't really appreciate the tone that you're taking with me. Well, I just... I just don't like being spoken to that way. Nope. Look, can I speak to your manager? Because I feel like you're treating me like I'm some kind of weirdo. No, no, no. No, you're not listening. I'm trying to bring them back to life. If anything, I'm doing you guys a favor. Hang on, how? Of course I'll hold. How exciting is this? Never met anyone off the internet before. This must be Uncle Jack. Yo, those cameras? What's that? What's with the cameras? Oh, we're shooting a documentary because we're, uh... Gee whiz. Where is he going? I guess we're doing it the old fashioned way. Uh, at this point, Dr. Frankenstein would sew all the body parts he got together to make a whole person. But in my case, uh, I never learned how to sew. <laughs> I got two rights. We have to go back. I got two rights. I have to go back. I'm not exactly sure what Dr. Frankenstein used as far as equipment to bring his creature to life. And I wasn't really able to find any helpful information online. But I figured bringing a dead body back to life might be similar to bringing a dead car back to life. So I have these jumper cables, and we'll see what happens, because I've never jump-started a car. Okay, here we go. Oh! So it turns out the battery wasn't enough to bring our creature to life. So I've been working on this. Um, it's my bicycle. And I'll give you a quick rundown here. Uh, you can come closer. It's just your basic rig, right? You got your wheel, and you got your uh, rope. Turns this thing, this is temporary. This is just where your basic science happens. These will work fine. I'm pretty confident about that. Kind of runs up here. This is kind of like radiating. There's just a, like, elect, elect, what is it, what is it? And that's really how it works, pretty simple. 
can't wait to meet him. was a success, but also it is morally unethical to bring dead people back to life again. No! Why are you looking at me like that? I don't want to do that. I don't want to do it. I don't hear them inside anymore. Did you hear that? Do you think that was Steven? That sounded just like Steven. Maybe this whole thing was a waste of time. I don't even know what lessons I'm supposed to take away from this. Maybe life's too short to be unhappy. That sounds good. Oh, a match. Ooh, Mackenzie. Mm -hmm. Do you like scary movies? I've never seen a movie. 